Hi everybody, Laura here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a couple of fun, colorful, simple, yet rainbowlicious projects to share with you. Both of these are featuring the Oval Thin Frames Die by Honeybee Stamps. Here she is, she cuts uh, 16 or 17 ovals. I'm only gonna do 13. So I have 13 panels, of solid color cardstock, trimmed and ready to go. Now, once I cut them, I hold it all down with that thin purple tape or post-it tape, whatever you do to hold them down. Kind of helps learn that one from the master, Jennifer McGuire. If you've watched her YouTube, she's done a few, a slew of these thin frames cards with various shapes and color combinations. And she cuts them in half and does magic tricks. And anywho, I'm just keeping it very, very simple today. Gonna make a traditional rainbow shape. Okay, so for me, really the key with everything is color. It's all about color. So I rifled through my uh, solid color cardstock scrap bin drawer and found the right colors that just fit for me. I had, I like, 13, Laura, you just gotta get 13 and that feel good together. So you gotta do what feels right. If you're more of a light pastel -y, or maybe you're an earth tone, you can customize this. You can make it seasonal. I'm just doing very traditional rainbow. Once I, I stop at the purple and uh, once I get it how I like it, then I just adore it. And then I lay the oval thin frame over top to find the halfway point. So I'm gonna chop this right in half. I've got my guillotine paper trimmer and I just line up those tick marks, slice it in half, and you have two rainbows. Now I adhered all these thin frames onto a panel that I covered with tape runner. So now I'm just cutting off that excess white cardstock so you don't see it. And you're left with the dreamiest little rainbow you ever did see. And I thought, why not? Let's just try something else. How about a mini baby rainbow? Okay, so I'm doing the same thing, but I'm just starting much smaller. I don't think I use 13 uh, frames for this. I use less because it just gets real small. But again, covered the panel with tape runner, found the halfway point, cut that puppy in half, and then I trimmed off the excess white cardstock, and you've got an adorable little baby rainbow. I mean, forget about it. I don't know about you, but this is what gets me out of bed in the morning. I mean, just look at it. Look, okay, so I made a few more. I made some reverse, like started with purple, worked my way into red. I just had a day. I'm gonna turn these into cards. So I've got a white panel of Nina Solar White 110 pound. I'm gonna flick on some flicks of black, just for some texture. I felt like it just needed it. I don't know where it comes from, but I'm just like, you know what, Laura, let's flick it up today. This is the Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolors in the shade Licorice for the black flicks, but you could do gold or silver, that'd be cool. For the sentiment, I'm using the Rainbow Wishes stamp set, and this is gonna say, just a note to say, hello. Got to mount it on the Misty, stamping it with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And then I'll pop up the rainbow right in the center. To finish it off, I'm adding a few little clear drops here and there. Uh, staggering them on top, below, wherever I can. It's like little kisses of dew, heavenly dew coming down onto the rainbow. And I mean, this is a very simple card, but simple cards are usually my most favorites. Now with the extra little rainbows that I created, I'm gonna create a funky design. So these two rainbows are opposites. See how one starts with purple, one starts with red, but when you line them up, they can meet end to end seamlessly it's like a, a funky rainbow racetrack, right? Yes. Okay, and then I'll take the other ones and just kind of finish it off as it goes off the edge of the card. And I'm, I mean, this is like hypnotic in a good way. Uh, cutting off that excess with the paper trimmer and then one more little piece at the top. And I, you know, it kind of pains me to cut the rainbows in half like that, but you know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do for the composition. The composition runs the show. And, uh, oh man, I don't know, this is fun. I gotta tell you, when Emma walked by my desk, she was like, ooh, mom. By the way, yesterday, she took about an hour setting up a tea party in her room. And she had food, and she passed out invitations. She said it was black tie. So uh, she put on one of Bailey's old homecoming dresses, and we all had to dress up, the whole family, and we went in there, 
and uh, we had a tea party, the whole family. She had muffins, she had rice cakes, granola bars, and uh, she didn't have tea, she had water. But it was fine, it was a good time. We uh, had a little chat, and um, yeah. So these two cards are finished, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.